Hello everyone, so today once more we are building and reviewing model from Dancing Wings Hobby. Today I have Albatross D3 from First World War. This model is a bit more complex and challenging, and some parts even require painting. So box is about double the size if compared to the previous Dancing Wings Hobby models. This kit comes in three versions, and I got version number two with 20% completion, so some parts in my kit are already assembled. Here you can see engine, and this is one of completed parts. Two machine guns also comes pre-assembled in my version of kit. And third completed part is radiator. We also get clips for rigging, decals and some transparent PVC film. No scone for a propeller needs to be painted and cut to shape. Kit includes 5 inch propeller that is most likely meant for RC models. And I feel like this is some kind of lazy move. Instructions from first glance looks reasonable, but already raises some questions. So I followed instructions and started to assemble fuselage. Important to mention that I followed steps just like shown in pictures. During fuselage assembly, I faced my first roadblock. And if you follow instructions step by step, you will be in the same situation as I am. So I completed majority of nose part, and later I saw that instructions require me to force inside one big wooden plate. And it was very difficult to force it inside, because plate is much bigger than those holes. And it caused splits on the sides. Once again, important to mention that you have to be very careful, because some parts are not even labeled. After I completed fuselage, I proceed with wing assembly.
Wing assembly was really straightforward and you have this kind of stencil to make sure everything is correct. After I completed airframe, it was time to start by the wood bending. I did some research and added some ammonia to the water, even tried Windex, but still had very hard time with this balsa wood bending. So this is how aircraft body looked after sanding and filling, and when you consider how it looked before, I was quite happy. I painted nose cone with red color, it was slightly too bright, so I added one more coat of black. You also have to paint transparent PVC film to make radiator covers. Later, I sprayed aircraft with clear coat and drilled some holes for the clips. Cockpit trim is made from simple piece of rubber tube. Once again, I faced inaccuracies in instructions. So there is some kind of steel wire coming out from motor to the radiator. 
but unfortunately it was bent to the wrong side and I had to reshape it. Wheels for this model is kinda disappointing, because you have to shape wood to imitate tires. When you consider this model includes PVC film, carbon rods, rubber tubes, it's kinda weird. So I shaped wooden rings and started painting. And after these steps, all that's left is basic assembly. Rigging quart in this model is much better quality than in first model kit from Dancing Wings hobby that I tried. So with rigging out of the way, model was finished. Thank you for watching and see you soon in my next modeling episodes.